hidden in Yosemite's northeast corner in the peaceful section of the park is the treasure known as Hetch Hetchy. There's a whole story around the water and John Muir, we'll get to that. I got my REI Ranger outfit on, so it's official. I can take you for a tour. Let's go. This secluded Yosemite Valley is just an hour and 15 minutes north of the touristy Yosemite Valley. We're gonna hike up to the top of that ridge and then we'll go down below. Down below the dam. Let's see what's going on down there. Maybe do some fishing. One of the first things you run across as you're doing the trails around the reservoir is this gigano tunnel that was made when they made the dam. It's blasted out of pure granite. It's got a few lights inside, but watch your step. Let's go. During the summer, the tunnel is cool. It's very hot outside, so it's a big relief to come in. And sometimes it's a wind tunnel and that will cool you down. Look, nature's practicing zen. Look yeah, at toadstool rock. Hello, anybody in there? Until the early 1900s, Americans viewed nature as something to conquer and to help prosperity of the civilization. Around the turn of the century, San Francisco was looking for fresh water source, picking Hetch Hetchy because of the water quality, natural walls, tight area for a dam, and elevation. Preservationists, led by naturalist and well-known champion of Yosemite, John Muir, wanted the valley untouched. Here's what the Hetch Hetchy Valley looked like before it was filled with water. President Teddy Roosevelt visited Yosemite in 1903 and was guided by none other than naturalist John Muir. Roosevelt was so moved by the conversations and shared joy that he expanded the national park system and the national forest. And when San Francisco applied to Congress to have the Tuolumne River dammed at Hetch Hetchy, he vetoed it. But as fate would have it, in 1906, the San Francisco earthquake happened, the big one. Fight the fire because the pipes to their nearby and as a result, again, San Francisco San Francisco ultimately won the war with President Wilson signing the bill, the Raker Act, clearing the way for the dam to be constructed here. John Muir died a year later. Some say he have a broken heart, but his efforts were not all in vain. It led to further conservation movements like the Sierra Club to help protect and preserve natural resources so that future generations like you and I can enjoy them. The trail is uh, fairly easy. There are some rocks here stepping over and it is fall. Some of the leaves are starting to change. You see water flowing and it's the end of October. So in California, that's kind of kind of rare because most of the water flow from here is snowmelt. Here you can see the uh, Hetch Hetchy Dam. They call it the O'Shaughnessy Dam after the engineer who built the dam. First phase of the O'Shaughnessy Dam was completed in 1923 and the second phase, raising the dam to a height of 430 feet, was completed a few years later. The dam was constructed to hold 117 billion gallons of water. So when you look around there, you see uh, the cliffs and the water. Well, the water actually goes down 300 feet. Well, I'm glad I have hiking boots on. Save my ankles. Yeah, now we're talking trail here. So there are some spots where you gotta pay attention to the trail rather than the gorgeous scenery around you. So this is the decision point. Do you go up the trail for the views or do you go down around the 
reservoir for the waterfalls. Well, the falls are not falling, it's the fall. So it's an easy choice. Only 1% of the Yosemite National Park visitors come to Hetch Hetchy. It's an accessible but isolated 36 minutes from Highway 120. If you're looking for fancy restaurants, this is not the place, but there is a restroom, water, and a phone. Another hindrance to crowds is that it's only open from 8 to 5. The Ranger Gate is 15 minutes from the reservoir, so unless you're geared up, be ready. And this trail going up into the mountains is mostly backpackers uh, who are going up to a campsite up above. The Ranger told me that uh, just last week, some backpackers encountered bears on this trail and uh, rattlesnakes are another thing to watch out for. She said, uh, the ranger said to keep your camera ready in case you have that bear encounter moment. We'll be there. On flat land, I don't use a walking stick, I find it more of a nuisance, but on hills, it gives me an extra push. Get up that mountain. Okay, thank you Boulder for falling off the the ridge it gives me a nice place to sit to enjoy the view we'll talk a little bit about san francisco it gets 85 percent of its water from this tuolumne watershed it travels 167 miles at about three feet per second to get there taking an 83 hour journey to get to the bay area because it starts at 3900 feet above sea level it flows to sea level it's completely gravity fed. The Hetch Hetchy supplies water to about 2.7 million residents and businesses and 32 San Francisco Bay Area communities. Hetch Hetchy is one of nine reservoirs controlled by San Francisco. San Francisco estimates that if it never rained again, the impounded water that they have at this reservoir and others could last San Francisco and the surrounding area for three years. One of the nice things about this trail that I'm taking is there are patches of shade. So as the day gains on me and it gets hotter, it's pretty nice. In the background, you might hear a plane going overhead. One of the unique things about Yosemite is that if you're flying, you might fly over it. It's uh, on the flight pattern. That's good and bad. This is a common flower along the trail. In some places, they've laid out the granite slabs to make the trail. And you can see on this one that uh, they used a device, either a jackhammer or perhaps even dynamite, to uh, pry this one off and make it look at the trail. Here you can see some acorns on the trail. Acorns are a tree nut local to the area. The Miwok tribe was believed to be the first inhabitants of this area, and no doubt they used acorns as one of their staples. Here's another form of erosion control that the Park Service uses. Make a trough for a tunnel for the water run so it doesn't erode the trail. Trail maintenance is a big issue because it gets snow so much and then the runoff in the spring well, it feeds the dam. Take advantage of another one of these lookout points. Beautiful country. Even with a dam. Now that's a view. Have you ever wondered what's below the dam? Let's see. Now there's this gate. So nobody thinks they can go down there. Feeling a little adventurous, are we? You bet. It is supposed to rain later today. I'm feeling lucky. Let's hope San Francisco doesn't have a sudden increase in demand for water. Oops, my microphone malfunctions, but what I'm saying is that I want to go off trail to find the best place to go fishing. Makes me wonder if this is an omen of calamity to follow. This involves scrambling over rocks along the river. Those critters gotta eat. They say the Tuolumne River 
and that's Hetch Hetchy has some of the best snowmelt water in the world. Let's see what this tastes like. The water in the hotel that I'm staying at nearby is just tremendous. Without further ado, let's see how this filter works. Drinking out of the river. That is some sweet water. That's delicious. These GPS devices are pretty picky about being out in the open so that it gets a clear uh, view to the satellite. So it's a good thing that I'm not really out in a wild, wild wilderness because I'm having some issues with this GPS. It's saying one of the, the keys are pushed down and it's malfunctioning. The weird thing is it says to power off and try that, but it doesn't let me power off. I don't know, I'm not loving this uh, spot GPS right now. It started to rain, so I decided the best course of action was to uh, not have to be transversing all these slick rocks after they get wet, so find another place for lunch. Breaking out the camp stove. of the visitors to Yosemite come to Hetch Hetchy. It's the secret Yosemite. Say it softly. But hey, you know, gotta pay for this REI Ranger outfit somehow. 